How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here bringing you guys Wisdom Wednesday with my dad. What's going on, Quad Father? Hey, what is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father here, and I think we have three interesting questions to answer today. All right, we got to help out some people here. Let's start off with the first one. All right, this one says, hey, man, currently I'm 16 and soon to become 17. A few months ago, I started talking to this girl. And she started to hang out with me and all my friends. We went out together just to see me and her, and now me and her and her hang out with our friends. All the people that see us together all the time come up to us and asking us if we date each other. So I told her that we should go out because I like you and because everyone is telling us to. She told me that there's a lot going on in her life, but ever since that, we hang out out together sometimes even more than before and I make her laugh and everything and she says I love you don't know if it's a joke and she says that we look like a married couple and everything I still I still like her and still want to go after her the friend zone is incredible please help me I know this is kind of long but I really need your help thanks in advance well you're you're well you're in a good situation yeah you're I, in a good situation Ricardo I think I think what she's trying to tell you is she doesn't want to be exclusive with you I mean, uh-huh. depends, and and what do you you don't get stuck in the friend zone. So well, she you sounds have, fairly exclusive anyway. Being right, it you sounds all the like time, they so. yeah they spend a lot of time together. So, so you know, girls are different than guys. Girls take a little longer to brew sometimes. Sometimes guys know right off, oh, I want to date her, I want to date her. And girls kind of fall in love with the personality, whereas guys oftentimes fall in love right off with the looks. So what do you yeah, think you should I, do? I, I think he's in a good situation right now. I say, just like my dad said, keep waiting it out a little bit. Things are going to turn out well, most likely, with this, this relationship. But don't wait too long. Don't let this go on for a yeah, few months. And, be could, like, and you know she's waiting for you to ask you out. And then you just and then you just procrastinate. I don't know if she likes me, man. I don't know. Just You know when the time is right. I'd say it, month tops. If she doesn't say yes, then move on. Well, yeah, I, and make a move. Maybe you, And you may say, oh, but she's my friend. Well, do you want a friend as a girl? Mm. Do you? Because uh, you know what? Uh, girls, as, as friends, get in the way of having a girlfriend. Most of the time. There may be girls out there right now interested in you, but think that you guys are together, and they don't want to step all over So that. I'd say month, top max, if she doesn't there say yes or whatever, then move on, man. Make a decision. Get out of the friend zone. I think you got it. All right, you ready for the second question? I'm ready. All right. Hey, Quad, I love your videos, and I need your advice on what to do. I'm 15 years old, and I've been hanging with a group of friends for about the past three years or so, and lately I've noticed some of them excluding me from stuff stuff and ignoring me in group conversations. Sometimes a few of them will make fun of me because I don't have as much money as them and that I can't afford new stuff. I don't know if I should stop hanging with them and make new friends because I'm not very good at making friends. I re I, I there he said make friends I they're really the only people I talk to in class. Thanks bro. Keep up the awesome vids. Bye. So I, to, for me, the question is, are these really his friends or not? I'm going to go with what Woody says. He says these are toxic friends. These are friends that you, in reality, shouldn't be around. Like, these are not people that lift you up and help you and are like you. And, you know, you hang out with four guys, you're going to be the fifth. You know, you hang out with four broke guys, you're going to be the fifth broke guy. Right. So if you're going to hang out with four toxic people, you're going to be the, become the fifth toxic guy. So let me ask you a question, Quad. Do you pick on your friends? Yeah, we joke around. Oh, yeah, my, you me and my a, friends are very violent. Right, like, yeah, not, you guys are mean physically. to each other. Oh, yeah, well, I'll, 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 I have fat friends. I'll call you, you're fat. Like, I'm right. not, I don't just say you're fat randomly, but it has to do with the context in the conversation. Right. But so we're not, we does that mean you don't like them? No, not at all. Yeah, I think I think guys generally we're really rough on each other. But don't be don't just go out there and call them a bunch of names. No, no, I'm not telling him what to do. I'm saying these people that kind of pick on you. They could still really be your friends and just be joking around. I mean, guys joke around on each other's weaknesses all the time. But, but listen, they if were excluding mean, him. Yeah, so it, then then maybe you're not getting the hint. Maybe, mm, maybe, that maybe these are people. Maybe try and find a new group of friends. I know you said you don't make friends well. But, but don't but don't go out and try to make friends. Just go out and do things you like. Yeah. You'll, you'll run into find people. friends there. That, that's how you do it. Right. Yeah, that's, that's the only way to find people. And plus, you start off with a similar interest. Mm -hmm, you have so, something to talk yeah. about. Try so, and get out of your group of toxic friends, man. Unless, yeah. unless they're joking and you don't somewhat realize it. So maybe you can pull out a couple guys who <laughs> you actually feel close to and do something individually, not just as a group, yeah, with them a good and idea. see if they're friends that are going to stick around. I think it sounds cool to me. Yeah, I, I think I, you could do good it. Good luck, man. Let us know how it works yeah, out. Yeah, good luck. Make sure to send us an inbox and, you know, whether a week it takes, maybe you're doing it tomorrow. Maybe you just watch this video and you did it right now. Which reminds me, how do people uh, ask us questions? Oh, you can go ahead and inbox me on YouTube with your YouTube account that you already subscribed to the hashtag Quad Squad with mm -hmm. on our way to 30,000 subscribers. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. 
So uh, you can do that. Inbox me on YouTube. Just right. send me a message. And we'll answer I, whatever I questions you, you have. So, so don't even worry. But uh, you ready for the third question? I'm ready. Father? All right. They said, hi, quad family. I've been going through a really rough couple of weeks. My girlfriend has completely betrayed me. It seems like everywhere I turn, people are talking crap about me, and I feel really bad. Wow. You see, I was talking to my girlfriend, and she recovered the conversation and then played it for everybody. Ooh. I'm embarrassed. Not quite. Not for what I said, but because everybody knows now. I really don't want to have to sell the clippers but how can i keep it when i Wait hate black minute. people i mean i <laughs> <Hold> don't <on. laughs> i don't mind having black people work for me i just don't want to see them with my loved ones on instagram by the way i love your channel what should i do wow this well this is a really similar isn't this is weirdly a good, similar well it's very coincidental mate I, I didn't know donald listened to our our, Thank our you, donald. advice yeah. wednesday he really wants in but you know I, I donald you know taking you seriously i think get out of the nba just you leave, don't belong man. there. Leave the country. Sell it. You're going to make tons of money. Leave the country. You've been banned from the NBA. Leave the country. Leave the country. Go the isolate. Country. Isolate. You know what? Just go hang out on your yachts with all your rich friends and just, the white guys. Yeah, just close And in. just stay yeah. away from them. You don't, you, you don't need everybody's approval. You're welcome. Don't turn on the radio. Don't turn on the TV. Don't watch any NBA games because everyone hates you. There you go. Rest in peace, Mr. Sterling. Oh, I feel bad for him. <laughs> Hope you guys. But thanks for this. writing in. Yeah, thank thank you very much, Mr. Sterling. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully, you all did enjoy. Again, make sure to subscribe and join the hashtag Quad Squad if you haven't already. I want to hear what everybody thinks about what Mr. Sterling should do. Oh yeah, can they, yeah. Can they write that in the comments below. below? Tell us what should Mr. Donald Sterling do. Yeah, inbox well, us too with your questions. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, Mr. Sterling. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Thanks for tuning in weekly. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out all my social media links down in the description below. It's been Quantum FT. I'm Matty5000. See you at the Clippers game.